Well, now check this out. Here's what we've done. I basically made a box here out of some OSB and I've taken the pickets that we've scraped and cleaned. Some of these are ones that are ones that I've made. Um, we primed them one time and then we went through and we filled in some of the checks and stuff in there and we've then sprayed them again. I'm going to let these dry and then I'll flip them around and spray them again. But they don't look that bad for um, the age of them. It was interesting seeing the pictures today um, that were in the history book and it's funny because the place looked like it was in worse shape than that picture and that picture was a black and white picture. Um, we now know that there's definitely a lot of the pickets that were missing from over in here. Uh, what we've gotten done, my beautiful bride has been working on getting all the pickets and stuff cleaned off, scraped, and all the paint removed. Um, I have been working on getting this side finished. We stopped right there, so we got the face of this. I need to go back through and caulk it, but now we've gotten that squared away. And I've got my live stream here uh, in about an hour and a half. So we're going to see how much more we can get done uh, about the next half hour or so. Um, probably not a whole lot. Really probably just clean it up because we've made so much of a mess here um, around on the house that we want to clean up some of this stuff. But it definitely is beginning to look a lot better. Tomorrow I want to actually start doing some of the railing. If I can do some of the railing here. Um, then it's really going to start setting this front off inside. Let's take a look inside The guys were here when we got here and they called it about three We have all of our tile for the bathroom uh, Down here and for the kitchen and let's look at the kitchen here. Look at this. So the kitchen drywall he started uh, Beginning some of the blocking right now and it's got everything taped up so this is beginning to start coming together now. We're not going to have a bathtub in our kitchen, uh, but we are going to have that nice island in here. I can't wait. Next week, if we can get this together and get some of this tile put down, we may go ahead and bring the refrigerator down next week just so we have a refrigerator in here. You can see they've got the corner bead up in here. We've got all of the drywall up in here. We're just waiting to put doors up in here. Got the drywall in that space. Uh, my buddy Jet's coming in tomorrow. He'll finish doing the uh, cement board tomorrow and pouring the bed for the tile. That's going to make that a lot better in there. And um, we didn't get here till about 12. Um, but a couple of things I've been doing. All the loose plaster um, down here was loose. I guess there maybe was moisture with one of the windows or leaked or whatever. Um, but I pulled that plaster off. And we're already beginning the process of wetting it so that way it'll adhere, it'll have that suction, and the same thing over here. The other plaster is actually really nice and smooth in here. So we'll be able to get that first sand coat on, scratch it, then get the second coat onto that, and then we'll start doing the liner plaster where you're putting it on about a credit card thick layer upon layer, which will lock it in and really make it strong. This is where we put on last week tomorrow i'll go through and i'll put the second coat on that uh start building it up closer to the other spots and things so we're making some progress here um on it uh we did the same thing upstairs um with the loose plaster around the fireplace and a couple of spots where it's kind of messed up but um getting it together bit by bit it's just there's a lot to do um it's exciting it ain't easy i can tell you that but people are beginning to notice. We keep getting people that are constantly coming through and saying, oh, we love what you're doing with the place. It's beautiful. So that's always a motivating factor to have people happy about what you're doing. All right, so um, a couple other things that we're going to be doing. Um, oh, let's take a look up here, too, because they've been hanging drywall up here. I think we have just enough. So now you can see in the bedroom here, They've got just the ceiling and this wall tomorrow is all they have to hang in there. We've got our closet right here. Nice little walk-in closet. Not huge. Um, I'm sure my wife will take all of it. Um, this, we're going to make this into a small closet, which will probably be my closet because that's what wives do. And here, um, we got to put the cement board in and um, they've got to put the ceiling up in there. So... They'll have the rest of this drywall hung tomorrow, 
and start mudding and taping it, which will be great. They'll be here at 6 a.m. And we'll be here uh, with my buddy Jet. We'll be here. Um, he'll be, like I said, working on the tile stuff. You can see up here where the plaster was loose that I uh, took that off and up around the fireplace. And so once we start getting the plaster filled in in the places, it's going to start really beginning to look like something. And I'm going to set up here for my live stream in a little bit too. Whew. There's always so much to do. Always so much to do. But I am blessed and thankful for everybody who's been here um, watching, and watching, commenting, subscribing, and for the donations that people have made uh, to help save this piece of history. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to tell you guys about. So the way this was, you can see this is a half post right here. We had a railing right here. Somebody had broken into the house and they had broke the post um, that was right here. We still have the post over there and I think we have the railing that's there. There was actually a wall right here because that was a bedroom. Um, so I'm gonna end up making the post carry on around through there the full size. And you can see over here, here's another post that I made. We'll get actually a four by four um, post I'll cut it down to two and a half inches wide. And what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll take this board off and we'll be able to take that off and we'll be able to bolt that piece in there. And then the post will be able to slide all the way down on there. So I'm gonna wait until after they finish with the drywall um, to do that. The bad thing about this is, is because of the way this house is, there's not a lot of space. So there's not a lot of space in here if you're bringing in bigger furniture you know because you've got to be able to turn it so um that's why i'm waiting till the drywall's done to make sure that there's enough space in there i might i might just cheat this a little bit more forward um i may go ahead and just do that if i can to just give it a little bit more space to turn around in here um, but the stairs are where the stairs are so there's not a whole lot you can do to change that Okay, good people. I hope you uh, enjoy it. The thing that's kind of cool is the amount of people that come through and they're constantly saying, we're so happy to see what you're doing and it looks great, it changes by the day. And that's a good feeling because now you feel like you're actually making a difference. And, you know, in life, you definitely want to be able to make a difference to people. Okay, good people. I will see you all soon. Peace.